Have you read the book of Revelation? It's got to be the most fascinating book ever written. The beasts that rise up, the stars that fall down, dragons with seven heads and ten horns, locusts from the bottomless pit rise up out of the smoke. God gives us revelation and wisdom and knowledge for those of us who are obeying his word. If you want to understand the book of Revelation, fast and pray and obey his word and he will reveal and teach you by his spirit, by his spirit, by his spirit. Today we're going to talk about the locusts that God lets loose from the bottomless pit. What could these be? Can you imagine what they look like? Listen, if we disagree about the rapture, so what? Watch and study this with us. Don't let that little disagreement stop you from learning about these important things, okay? Okay, there's seven seals, seven trumpets, and seven vials or bowls that are poured out in the book of Revelation. These locusts come out during the fifth trumpet. There's a lot of debate on whether we're going to be here during that time. We can study the scriptures and find out when we're raptured up. We know we're going to be here during the tribulation hour, but it's still foggy as to the exact moment when we're going to be raptured off the planet. But we do know this promise. It will be before the wrath of God is poured onto the wicked people. One quick little thing you have to understand about the seals and the trumpets and the bowls. Not all of that is the wrath of God. Much of it is going to take place while the saints of God are still on earth. The wrath of the Antichrist and the wrath of God are two different things. Okay, here we go. Chapter 9 of Revelation. We're going to read about the fifth angel blowing the fifth trumpet. And here we go. And the fifth angel sounded, and I saw a star fall from heaven unto the earth. And to him was given the key to the bottomless pit. Now we know this star is an angel because we know that stars uh, refer to angels in Revelation chapter 1. You can go study that. A lot of people think this star falling from heaven is a meteor or asteroid, but it's not. There are meteors and asteroids that hit the earth in the book of Revelation, but this is not one of them. This is a particular angel. And he was given a key to the bottomless pit. Verse 2. And he opened the bottomless pit, and there rose a smoke out of the pit, as the smoke of a great furnace. And the sun and the air were darkened by reason of the smoke of the pit. Verse 3. And there came out of the smoke locusts upon the earth, and unto them was given power, as the scorpions of the earth have power. Verse 4. And it was commanded to them that they should not hurt the grass of the earth, neither any green thing, or neither any tree, but only those men which have not the seal of God in their foreheads. Now these scorpions were commanded to not hurt anything, but only the men who do not have the seal of God in their foreheads. Verse 5. And to them it was given that they should not kill these men, but that they should torment them for five months. And their torment was as the torment of a scorpion when he stingeth a man. And in those days shall men seek death, and they shall not find it, and shall desire to die, and the death shall flee from them. Verse 7 of Revelation 9. And this is of particular importance because what I have to show you later about the shape of these locusts is going to blow your mind. It does mine at least. Let's read what verse 7 has to say. And the shape of these locusts were like horses prepared unto battle. Remember horses prepared unto battle. These locusts look like horses. And on their heads were as it were crowns like gold, and their faces were as the faces of men. Verse 8. And they had hair as the hair of a woman, and teeth were the teeth of a lion. Verse 9. And they had breastplates as it were breastplates of iron, and the sound of their wings was as the sound of chariots and many horses running to battle. Verse 10. And they had tails like scorpions, and there were stings in their tails. And their power was to hurt men for five months. And finally, verse 11. And they had a king over them, which was the angel of the bottomless pit, whose name in the Hebrew tongue is Abaddon, but in the Greek tongue hath his name Apollyon. Okay, just to recap on this, the star fell from heaven, and it was given him a key to the bottomless pit. He opened the key, and the great smoke rose out of the furnace, and out of the smoke came locusts. We saw the description of these locusts. They had power, like scorpions, to torment men for five months. It was commanded that they torment men for five months, those who did not have the seal of God on their foreheads. So there will be people with the seal of God on their foreheads during this time period. And people will try to die, and people will seek death, and they will not 
find death. That's how bad the torment's going to be for five months. And the shape of the locusts were like horses prepared for battle. Remember the horses prepared for battle part. We're going to get into what could possibly be these locusts from the bottomless pit. Are these real, literal creatures with teeth and hair and breastplates? I mean, I wouldn't doubt that God could create these things and send them upon the world. Or are they cyborg, machine, robotic creatures that man has made that have turned against man? Is that possible? Let's take a look. <laughs> 